Blessed love to each and every one. Do give thanks for the life giver and the keep of life. Emperor Haile Selassie the first. Wonderful, you are here in the tiger's nest, of course, the Honorable Priest Isaac with you. And this is another edition of a Chalice Talk. And this is, of course, the program where we partake of the cup, the Chalice Cup, and take this to another level, you know. So this program has a meditational period, which we are going to use the meditation period today to somewhat reminisce on our good brethren, brother, brother Vaughn Benjamin, as you know, the 13th day of August is his Earth Strong, what we refer to as birthday. You know, a couple of years ago, the brother did um, transcend and uh, um, left our presence in the physical so we are definitely still celebrating his presence amongst us. And I'm gonna be saying a few words about him as it relates to the subject I wanna to touch upon tonight, which is Marcus Messiah Gavi. You know, his earth day is in a few days, the 17th day of August. And again, today being the 13th day of August, this is the day when the Olmec calendar began in 3113. Some say 3114, we're going to get into all of that and a few other elements with the science thereof. The Almec people, Marcus Gavi, this is the day the red, black, and the green was risen. Holy Emmanuel, I, Selassie, I, ja, Rastafari. But even before we go into that, of course, you know, one of the main sponsors for our Chalice Talk is our international homeschool cosmic classes. And definitely for sure, you can of course bring your young ones. It has been designed for children of all ages, even from, from, from the age of K upwards. But trust me, uh, no matter who you are, how old you may be, if you want to learn the basics, and even some of the upper levels of astronomy, this is the course for you. And African history and heritage, for sure, this is something the young ones will definitely delight in. Just to give you a quick understanding of what we do here, our classes are sent out every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the classes are in video form, just in case you didn't know. And they appear in your inbox daily. As I just said, we offer astronomy and African heritage. And trust me, the young ones, our scholars, as we call them, they will definitely love your daily lessons. I'm telling you, you're going to receive more than 160 classes over the period of 10 months, for sure. So all you need to do eh, is contact me. You know how to do that. You can email me, priestisaac27 at gmail.com. And I would send you a copy of even this electronic brochure and even give you a nice short video to give you a better understanding of what is happening with our international home school classes. Now, actually, family, before we go into the depths of our reasoning, before we even light the chalice this evening or going into the Sabbath evening, I just want to speak of an event that took place here in Antigua approximately six days ago. Now, this was Sunday, Sunday the, the 8th, if I'm correct, of August. There was a, a picket or, or a march or a protest, a demonstration of sorts, because people are arguing over these terms. What I want to say now, I don't have no time to be arguing over terms. I'm just going to make my point and move on. Now, most of you, or many of you, I should say, especially well, everyone that is in um, um, the Northeastern Caribbean and that is in Antigua, you know exactly what I'm talking about and what I'm getting to. So internationally, you know, people are protesting over their concerns as it relates to all the different protocols and all the different things that are affiliated with the pandemic that ones are speaking of. So it is no different here in Antigua. I'm sure you would know that many places on the planet, people are restricting people from working or, or, or you may have to take um, tests continually and pay for them or fund them yourself if you refuse to be um, inoculated and these different things. And as I said, it's no different here. So I don't have to go into no details. I'm sure you know exactly what the concerns are because you are on planet Earth. 
And that was really the case. Now, this situation that took place here in Antigua, that Sunday the 8th, about 3 p.m., there was a, um, a, a demonstration of sorts that was held in St. John's, that is the capital. And um, once gathered, now this, according to the law of the land, was supposedly an illegal gathering because the individuals that asked for the permission to do this, apparently they did not get any permission to do such. Now, the gathering itself was definitely a peaceful gathering and warranted not what took place afterwards. Riot squad, the riot squad from the police force came in, two big trucks filled with policemen, as you could see with is um, um, military such fatigue and, and shields and masks and helmets and tear gas. And as you could see a sign here, attention disperse or I, whoever the I is, will use tear gas. And what really happened, I'm gonna show you a video in a few moments really, give you an idea of really what took place on that day. Now, the thing has even gone political and people arguing over sides and which political party would have instigated and which political this and that. Now, if I'm to go into all them avenues, right, maybe we'd have to talk for 24 hours. What differently than political, I'm not in no political thing with nobody. I don't care who you are. You like to talk about who you're voting for, who you're voting for, all of you voting for Queen Elizabeth. Nobody troubled me. All of you voting for Queen Elizabeth, because if you vote blue, red, orange, or green, your representative will say at the end of the game that your vote, thank you for it, but you go to the back seat, because I am paying allegiance to Queen Elizabeth II her ears and her successes. Them fellas that came, the, the, the chief police officer in the land has the crown of England, Britain on his shoulders. We call them things, his lapels or whatever they call. They refer to as her majesty's royal police. You see, we like to put bandages on swords. Well, you know what to do next election. If that's your stuff, you deal with your stuff. This is why King Emmanuel called for freedom, redemption, and international repatriation. I ain't gonna bow from my high standards to come down to your little cheap politicking. Trust me. But what I'm saying is this. What happened on Sunday was a disgusting act. Whatever politician is in the seat of power, it was a disgusting act and those who are in the seat of power. I mean, to be very honest, man, I myself was looking for some level of remorse. Even after it happened, the prime minister of this land wasn't in the land. And I could tell you now, my own brethren could show you that. I clearly showed him, hey, something gonna happen that day. I'm a student of history. When heads of state leave the country, I mean, you gotta wonder what's going on next. And, and the word was out for, for a while that, hey, this is, a, uh, uh, this is not gonna be sanctioned, X, Y, Z. But I'm telling you, they were peaceful. And even if they were not peaceful, I mean, nobody there was barking no shot at nobody. And however you choose to, to, to quell them or whatever, what I'm gonna show you now, when I saw this video, and they have many, many other videos, you can go and look them up. When I saw this video, because I wasn't there, when I saw this video, tears came to my eyes. Just watch this. Let me make sure you can see first. Right. This is challenge talk. Here at the VC Bird bus where the riots and let me say this first. This video is courtesy the Observer News Media. And uh, this is one of their reporters that was on the spot. Just watch what happens here. Here at the VC Bird bus where the riot squad, the riot squad is now here to police truck and 
a bus is here. The police are threatening to disperse the tear gas. They're threatening to disperse tear gas. This is why tears would have come to my eye. You see a little girl just passing here, 11, 12. The crowd does not dissipate or, or stop with the chant and so forth. So in the background where I am. You see a little boy there. You know, he looked like he pulling up his pants off. That's the a truck yeah, yeah. with riot officers and so forth. There's another vehicle at the side. I'm on, on the side where the so let's watch for Burger King is on the All Saints Road. So there's the a shot here of the crowd. And the riot squad is here as we speak, threatening to burst tear gas if the individuals do not disperse. The individuals here, about roughly 70 to 100 individuals are here as we speak. As I said to you, most of them are indicating that they should have a choice, a choice to decide on their own. Choice to decide on their own. <laughs> And people are running as we speak. Some canisters, smoke canisters. And it would have gone off in the ground. Tear gas. And individuals are running to safeguard themselves. This is what has happened now. As the protest is still taking place. And tear gas has been dispersed for individuals to come out and and this is what I'm talking about. So you see for yourself, and that's, trust me, that's that's not even it. Eh? It goes way beyond that, you know, because as I said before, this is just one short video of what was taking place even that day. They were firing rubber bullets, family, rubber bullets. I know several people and know of several more that got the head bust up that have marks on their skin because of rubber bullets. People, I mean, people could have lost their eyes and, and other different things. People could have died, you know, give thanks for, for uh, the man bigger than that nigger skull. Even some of these photos here as well. 12 year old young girl, you know what I mean, gassed. Some people were just bystanders and passer buyers, you know, if that's the right term. And what I'm saying is that when a nation reacts like this to death, that's a sick, sick, sick mentality there. I'm telling you, wow. When so many people can come in one unison and say, yeah, we're getting in the truck and we're gonna shoot people because whoever gave us the order, because somebody got to give the order and then When the authorities get a chance to explain themselves, press conference the next day by the police, chief of the police on the inter um, uh, national news, prime minister making a statement. I know I'm not telling no lie on none of them, and you can't accuse me of disrespecting them. None of them show no remorse. Let me be clear here. If any of them show remorse, I didn't hear. None of them even say, oh my, I'm sorry for all of those that got gassed and shot. You know what they say? You shouldn't have been there. And even some of us with our sick self, Oh, well, you, why were you there? You, you know that was what they're going to do. That's not the point. That is not the point. That's not the point. The point is that is wickedness. We can talk about maybe they shouldn't have been there some other time. The point is they were there and the action taken against them, in my humble opinion, was disgusting. Straight up. We got to do better than that. That's really off. I, me personally, I've never seen that sort of action in our society. Yeah, over that, 
over people gathering, simple people that, you know what I mean? Some of them catch bus and come there. People with the umbrella in the hand, just standing up, not flinging no stone in nobody's window. Nobody brandish a pistol yet. They're not even throwing paper cups at you. Are you shot at people? So officially, that's my statement on that. That is what's happening here. This is where it took place. This is the bust of the father of the nation, Veer Cornwall Bird Sr. How many of you have read, read the book, Anu Ancient and Mother? I could do a whole program on this, eh? Whole program, series. This is the Tiger's Nest. This happened, what, what date was Sunday? Was it the 8th or the 10th or whatever it was? But this happened on Sunday. And this happened at the, 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 the bust, again, of the father of the nation, via Cornwall Bard. He, he has passed on since um, 1999, there about in June, if I'm, if I'm correct. And if you know the story, his son, Lester Bird, who's another national hero, he was the one that came to power. What day Sunday was? He was the one that came to power after his father um, passed on. In fact, I think he was prime minister. Oh, it, it? Yeah, it was the eighth. His father um, um, would have, I think he was prime minister before his father actually passed on. So Lester Bird is, I would say, maybe the more, one of the more outstanding of the prime ministers of Antigua and Barbuda. You have um, via Cornwall Bird, that's the person you're looking at there. That's his statue. You have Lester Bird, that is his son that ruled after him, a whole set of birds in the government at the time and the bird thing. And then afterwards, you had uh, Baldwin Spencer, um, another prime minister, and the current prime minister, uh, Mr. Gaston Brown. And uh, interestingly, Mr. Baldwin Spencer was at this rally too. Mr. Baldwin Spencer, the third prime minister as such, not, not premier, they have, they have others that were premier, but we're talking about the prime ministers at this very important. And this is where all what you just saw happened on Sunday the 8th. Sunday the 8th, right? Yes. Right. The next morning, Monday the 9th of August, 6 p uh, a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning, the next day, former Prime Minister Lester Bryant Bird, which is the son of this man here, died. The next day, go read, read the paper. The next day, the day after this, this was the Sunday, at the statue of the father of the nation. The next day, the next day, the Sunday, have this happened the Monday morning, 6 a.m. Prime Minister Lester Bird passed on. Now you may say, so what's the connection? I never said there's no connection. I think you are wise enough. And trust me, there's much more I could say. Let me ask you again. Have you ever read the book Anu? Hmm? You, you understand the science with the phoenix bird. Those of you who have the book, if you don't have the book, it's better you get it. Because I'm not going into the information and the depths now. And there's more I could add to it. That's why I say from time to time, some people feel there's some level of ego here. You know, but I'm telling you, I was made for this. I was made to unravel the mysteries. That's why I'm in Anu. The high places of Anu. You understand? So all of that that happened there, is not by chance. Everything I just said, and there's much more to it. But to be very, very honest, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Sometimes I don't believe that those who hear this information really appreciate it to the fullest. That's why sometimes we keep back things. Yeah, you got to. And nobody can tell me nothing because the amount of things that we spit out, man, the whole world's supposed to have gone through a whole new revolution already. It's the last year we defending. 
Selassie I, and we, we, we break down the elements to make you understand highly Selassie the first. So yeah, enough said on that. Give thanks again for this day as we fulfill uh, the blessings of our good brother, brother Vaughn Benjamin. Eh? And yeah, this, this is just for those who desire the book Anu. Definitely you could get a copy of the book Anu from I. Anu goes into the spirit of, of Antigua. Eh? In that book, we talk about the, the, the science of the cosmic as it relates to VC Bird, even Lester Bird, and Baldwin Spencer, and Governor Baldwin, and all of that, if you remember, if you have read the book, because you know Anu, Antigua, Heliopolis, there's a lot of science in the book. And even though I didn't explain my meditation on the mystics, if you read this book and you understand it, especially the second to last chapter, you will be able to fit the rest of the puzzle together, you know? So for sure, you can contact us, of course, you know, precise at 27 at gmail.com. And you could get a copy of the book Anu, PDF for sure. And uh, payments can be made using the Cash App and PayPal. And of course, the link is in the description below. If you just go in the description below, you see the link for the Cash App, just press it. The link for the PayPal. And definitely you could make your payments for the book there and all other payments that you desire to make those who are a part of our international homeschool program and those who are a part of the shop of the hour and any other thing else that you desire. Yes, as you know, again, a couple of years ago, the good brother born Benjamin, you know, made a little step away from us. A brother that was born right here in the island of Antigua. In fact, his remains were also laid to rest here in Antigua as well. And, you know, it's some interesting stuff, you know, because the, the church where the ceremony was held for the good brother, I think it was the day before I was passing the same church myself and it was Ras Dre. And both of us witnessed two beams of light just coming out of the horizon, I kid you not, in the formation of a V over the church where the brethren was supposed to be buried the next day. I just gave you the name of a witness that was with me. And it was an outstanding you know, feature in the heavens. Two bright lights just coming out of nowhere in the form of the V. I see that with my eyes and I know my brethren see that. And I mean, we are accustomed to see the heavens show the mystics. As I said, we made for that. Eh? So the brethren, a product of Anu, and um, born the 13th of August, which is this day. Born a very interesting time, the same day when the Almec calendar begin. Born a very interesting time, the same day when Marcus Messiah Garvey, who is the Olmec, rise the red, black, and green. Born a very mystic time in the earth. Again, as we are talking about the 13th day of August. So what I'm going to do now, now we're going to begin chalice talk. I'm going to light the chalo as I always do. And of course, make sure you get your chalice, by the way. You know what you got to do. Just email us, priestisaac27 at gmail.com. And for sure, ready for you will be your chalwa. So what I'm going to do, I don't usually take it on this level, but I want us to meditate on some of the sounds of the good brother Vaughn Benjamin. And we'll make that carry us to the level. And of course, we're going to have something else to say about the good brother. All right. So how do we light the chalice? We bless it up first. Holy Manuel I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Give thanks for the blessings of the day. Give thanks for Marcus Messiah Garvey coming up, Earth Strong. Thanks for the 1st of August. Give thanks for the 13th of August. 
Give thanks for the red, black, and green in the elements and the calendar of life. Give thanks continually for this blessed moment that the Holy One of Israel be praised. Marcus I, Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Bless the cup, bless the princess, bless the prince. Yes, yes, love, love, love. Yes, now, as we enter. Mm. It is good that you are here to record this picture of me in my palace garden at Addis Ababa. People who see this throughout the world will realize that even in the 20th century, with faith, courage, and a just cause, David will still beat Goliath. The balance bench where Kigang they seek into Governant keepers, megalithic mound builders, it's true The high places of Anura Saga Ifu Or a work ethic, brotherhood, peace For commencement in a righteousness feast With the raw reality up on the table Not no pamper into false sense of security just the progress that I and I shape myself to be. Praise Jarasta for right just as long as I am able. As I'm able, as I'm able. Just as long as I am able. Yeah, yeah. Politician with long ramp in preamble. The whole populace want their same dignity. Them don't take away everything from our we And I and I still be like dispersion into moral instability. Yeah. Even wicked minds will and flee. As a fugitive, praying for safety. That's how the thing set up to 360. Seeking the good God for mercy. Seeking the good God for mercy. Seeking Jarasta for mercy. Be a witness to Rasta Paradise. Expect these people to stay just so in ignorance. So they got it inside, like the hippies of Patantantan. Out in a field of wine, dandelion. Children running for nothing but the joy of creation. I'm living into everything but them mute and strong. And all that is the future of ambition upon the land. If them are going to see it all self sufficient and self dependent. If them are going to like them food. Well seasoned no plan. If the mother like codependent conglomeration, if the mother walkers isolation is strong, financial index show the depth of the interrelations. Watchman fiscal, what a exploiter. What if your compromise is only human and man's? Each is will remember and need such things. In this time, don't play with politics on the land. Things get the dread and money, things get different. Some are saying, don't look for no seal or front. Some are blessings straight through all the blossom and the show. The challenge in the playground, just call them out. The violence spill over in a larger amount It in the field of wild and lion. Children running for nothing but the joy of creation By the time them overstanding reach it's something different He 
The temper as a bridge, not the bird. Needed for transportation into moreover. Needed for transportation into together. International Malaysia with a few little delete. Induce the volatility of the podium speaker. Small powerful final two sides in the wawa. Fighting at the earth, Jaja over and over. Then to replace any time period and character. Sight of them resembling to one another. Launching a movie all with enough B actor. Only thing them sit down in the seat of world leader. Like how them connect from a nuclear reactor. Latest model of man creation and disorder. Some of them are going to trickle down the brandish band the corner. Rasa man a seat in a 3D rana. Hostility with hospitality for others. Still the lovers of the cuisine and the craft man of the culture. Talking the truth is like a kid and soul for bitter. No one over the almananda. Food where they glow like a maca highlighter. Bright with the skins of the sea vitamina. Don't remember in a visibility. Ja. All from the stamp plow the earth still a feed ya. Written, written, M-E-T-E-R meter. Read now the other way the world say wonder. Infinite powers of the good earth we feed ya. Lion and the chariot and lion and malaria. Not mechanism in a man in a de water. All spice and clover have been up in a de mantra. Certain things when all these people keep in a de cupboard. Certain things the whole earth will live up must go toward. Blood in future, not for world and cross culture. Knowledge with the rest of the whole world to drink now. Rhythm with the fullness of humanity feeling now. Give each other eyes and give each other eyes. Whether you're there, wrap the mantle of the red, the black and the green around me. For in the new life, I shall rise up first. We've got the heights of the black and the green. The millions of the heights of the fire. That you will know. Look for me in a world when I reform. Look for me all around you. For with God's grace, I shall come back with countless millions of black men and women who have died in America, those who have died in the West Indies, and those who have died in Africa to aid you in the fight for liberty, freedom, and life. The Kahem de Tabo, the Akuna Aba, Sila, Sia. Listen, listen good to the lyrics of the Thai country. And by them action, them when they despite me. Do the right thing is a spikely movie. Them come back with so fire, so suck in the reality. In the obscurity, yeah, and in the anonymity. A new alliance between jealousy and envy. All Kunta Kente, Chicken Charge and Kissy. How much back child support is they born a Hoshi? 
Moses speckled Kyaka in the 21st century MC mutation has an exciting ingenuity Don't try play me when the sun belts lady Slady Multiply the rest and multiply great Multiply mighty, mighty high, this is us Praise the Almighty Them come be trim down every route as a panic transmigration Relocation, this is them strategy It is a inland rush to stability Ignorance of leaders cause such calamity To multiply greatly, 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 greatly As the character of them elemental liberty Adaptation on time, them justify it And they create the problematic artificially In a systematic, they make them matic backwards And by them action, them greatly despite me Do the right thing is a spikely movie Come make we suffer, your so so in a reality In a obscurity, yeah, in a anonymity A new alliance between jealousy and envy Article place where despise such fallacy Such as the mountain of delete immediately So now the anti-matter operate invisibly You must have things that you can blank space reality Let me tell you, said the blank space fully then The empty interval where integral to redeem We leave the earth of material schism We distribution of the wealth with the equity Make the weight be relieved of such poverty Yeah me, yeah me, yeah me A ruling system of merit We don't know you call that meritocracy As it's promotion by zeal and accuracy Just with the utmost of loyalty Come along, come yourself This is good now, your energy By them action, them greatly despite me Do the right thing, is a spikely movie Come make me suffer, you're so somehow in reality In a obscurity and in a anonymity A new alliance between jealousy and envy Just you love and I come down how it's such To live already see A permanent remnant of all Chicken and work in the world is first beat. First beat, first beat. Repel where them attack me, group theory and manipulation theory. Tory, scale our way out of the dragon way lately. The resonation of Ivy Silla CI. Don't come out as flighty flaky. As them only be the manufacture, only them can manufacture water, them use what they bought. A long life, longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. Yeah. Every city, state, county, every intellectual institution. If you can listen far, it's only a set of interactions. If you can listen good, it's only a body of relations. Try your best. Human relations. Concentrate on this one. So each one is a subset, you see, of human family. There's been enough examples, you see, of scientific envy. Invented everything and can't harness their emotion. Building bigger and a bigger and a falsified foundation. Their self view, worldview was the root of their intentions. Snuff.
accomplish elitist aspirations. This miscreations are the evidences. I'm watching them 360 to the Ethiopians. It's a fine and comedic conscience. Trying to avoid embarrassment. No. Deep space I that's looking. The deep water I that's looking. And the hub will bring back pictures. It's the same thing. From the atom of a car back to a hurricane. And the spiral in the knowledge of the surface. Look like cell replications of the person. And the knowledge that remains still elusive. I originally came with it. The tetrahedral that they tripped up the scene with. That's the high piece of the molecule work with. Rush into the singularity to rupture the time with. The monumental megalithic mind they openly covet. Any one human mind is more complex than anything you can take. Still among the insects. Still among the insects. As the abstract thought has chemical representation and tangible MRI So it's real, then you work code it to crystallize Then they're sitting in the critical ruling place of pride And ethics and moral was long ago put aside To reserve space for discovery and patents and copyrights So there's a rich history of animals using disguise Of the prey and of the predators alike must seem to them to be alive Studying everything that needs not sunlight Everything that needs not sunlight is You judge the bride Holy Emmanuel, I Rastafari <clears throat> And I'm telling you family, if I was to take any one of them songs there. That last one that we dropped, we did a program on that about two and a half years ago, Judge the Pride. The brother was still around. Judge the Pride is one of the most scientifically concise, poetic expression I've ever heard. Mr. Benjamin Akibika, Akibeka is top poet, orchestrator of ideas in words. A lot of entertainers are, are poets, not all of them, singers and so on. But this brethren here, a lot of people don't see this as poetry. Uh, reggae and all of that kind of thing there. Well, listen, I don't know how we label it. Eh? But this is some high dimensional vibes. And I know that. Because I can take all, even the five songs that we put down this evening here. I could take any one of those and do a whole program and any one of those. And anything, and there's so much. I don't want to diss nobody, man, but I am positive that the vast majority of people that listen to this stuff miss plenty of what a God drop in. And the thing is not like as if I know the song them word for word, I honestly, to be very, very honest. And you know, I mean, even maybe a few tunes may miss me too. <laughs> you know, but that's how it is. I mean. But I, I have time to catch up now, for sure. We all have time to catch up. The scrolls have been, have been, have been written. Where are they now? Man of a song named Ancient Maps. Wow. Gee. Judge the pride. What was the song there? Abuna. What do you say? Um, Kunte Kente, uh, Chicken, Chicken George, and Kizzy. How'd that go? Chick, um, Chicken George's Kizzy's son, this is from, White Master. Oh, that's from Roots. Yes. So Chicken George's Kizzy's son. Okay, all right. 
Right, okay. I, I, I honestly didn't know the details. I'm telling you, is she telling me? I know it's root. I know all of them be roots, eh? Kunta Kente for sure. Chicken George and Kizzy. Um, I don't know if you know what he said in the song. He says, uh, how many, uh, how many back pay or compensation? Um, the slave master or she, you know, something of the sort, but but uh, oh man, I got I wish I had the exact words, but it's deep, you know. I mean, just what he's trying to say is that, as you just said, Chicken George is Kizzy's son from a white master. You know what I mean? I don't think they were, I don't think they had a bubble bath and had roses and petals and chocolate on the bed before they made Chicken George. Is rape, Kizzy get raped in him. Pardon. So when the brethren say that in the song, how much, how much, I don't think it's back pay he said. I, I forget the lyrics, but I know what the lyrics is saying is that, you know, just like when you molest somebody and you have to pay. You know, me compensate them for for the ills you have done to them. That's what the man saying in that one line. As simple as it sounds, you know. Give thanks for them high level of poetry. Give thanks for the time that the brethren put into such work. You know, what I mean, I honestly, from my heart, give thanks for even the moments I spend with that brethren there. I live in the man's house. The man leave me in his house eh, and go on tour. I think it's Puerto Rico or someplace. I can't remember exactly where. Yeah, I tell you straight out. I just, nothing expected. Eh? Yeah. Chalice and high, high, high reasoning. Simple man, you know, man. Simple, simple man. Not because he's from Anu. I never know him like that. I, I, you know what I mean? It just come, I come across the Midnight Music, Unpolished, the first set of albums I get them. I'm not afraid or shame. Um, bigger than you don't know is the truth I'm saying. It. When man dropping Midnight here, all bumpy and so, can testify. When man dropping Midnight here and ZDK Radio, Mystic Vibration, nobody, nobody, to be honest, in the Caribbean, Bussing on midnight. So Monday from the beginning, at least of the exposure part of it, unpolished, um, Rasmic piece and, and, and all of them, they dash away the old row, you know? So it, it, it was actually like, a, a, you know, the whole move to Virgin Island was actually, one of the mission was to see that man there. You know what I mean? And Juman is an international mover. I honestly, I can just tell you a little of the story. I honestly didn't intend to stay in St. Croix so long. You know what I mean? I didn't even intend to stay, you know, by the brethren. It was just reasoning and, you know what I mean? When you're going forward, well, uh, maybe the next two days. Okay, well, you know, I don't so on. If you were staying, you could have stayed by, yeah? Yeah, man. Uh, I'll, I'll just do what man had to do, you know? went away and came back again and still spent a moment, you know. So, so I give thanks. Let me just say it as that. Simple, humble brother. In, in my book, the kind of knowledge, not just knowledge, believe me, this is more than knowledge. As I said, you, you know me. You hear how I talk and what I talk about. And even from time to time, you hear me say, the way we construct it, this ain't no secondhand story. That means we pride ourselves in saying this is the source. So when we hear someone else on that dynamic level, not just knowledge, anybody that say he not on that level, they don't understand what he's saying. I'm I am telling you, it's nothing the brethren have to be decoded. And in the future, man, man will tell all them, so I did want to judge the pride and even when the brother made the transition, I, I, I think I highlighted a few in that program we did. Um, many consider that a very passionate program we did. And the brother made a, a move there. So give thanks, Charlie's talk, give thanks for that little rendition.
and the Knight of the Black Tiger is still available for you. I think this is the right time for you to get a copy of the Knight of the Black Tiger. You know, all you have to do is email me, besides at 27 at gmail.com if you have emailed me and you have not received it. I don't know, maybe it's in the junk mail or something. Just email me again. If it, you know, just email me again, for sure, and uh, and let me see what's happening. And we send you a copy. This is this is a free, this is a free uh present from us to anyone who wants it. And and just as the design might be enticing to you this is a book you can judge by the cover um this is a book you can judge by the cover the cover looks nice this is a book you can judge by the cover they take it from me the quality of the documentary is not a lecture it's not a challenge talk it's not reasoning it's a documentary you know put together by the priest isaac's institute of holistic knowledge all credits are inside you know, myself, the honorable princess, the honorable prince, all credits are inside. All right. So as we are putting everything together, as you can see, this is just a humble chalice talk. And we glorify Marcus Messiah Gavi and his Earth Day upcoming. And uh, the, 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 the science here, as it relates to what is happening, of course, your chalice, make sure you get your chalice. You don't know how it is. I give thanks for the one Jad Daniel as well. And even bless up the man many. You know, give thanks for all chalice makers internationally. Big up yourself. This is the international tool, the, 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 the portable altar, as the man Rasila would call it. So give thanks continually. You know what to do. Look the email right here, precise at 27 at gmail.com. And I already told you. That it, all, it is very simple for all your payments to be made, whatever it's for, the cash app and the PayPal. The link is in below, um, uh, below this video in the description. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying now, as I said, this is the 13th of August, at least at the recording of this. And what is interesting about the 13th of August is the whole science of the link. Now, let me just show you here before we go too far. Now, we all know Marcus Messiah Garvey is the Olmec. Good. No? There's somebody in the audience that doesn't understand that science? Let me know before we move on, because we, we weren't going to speak about that. OK, there are a few new people that don't know nothing. You say you don't know nothing about the Olmec? Oh, they don't know nothing about the Olmec. All right, right, let's. we have to take a few moments for those who just came in. You know, we have some people who have been there for decades now since them same mystic vibration time. But they have some people that just came in a few minutes ago. They were not even here for the beginning of this. So the Olmec head structure, volcanic rock basalt, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're all made of the same material, but their volcanic headstones and the volcanic aspect of it is very important. And the, the Olmec, of course, there's a whole prophecy behind the Olmec too. You know, there's a whole mystic behind the Olmec. As I mentioned from time to time, our good brother that has made a transition himself, Brother Ronoko Roshidi. For those who may not know, Brother Ronoko Roshidi made a transition, I think it was the third day of August. And um, he himself, what is outstanding about him now, I, I don't have a picture of him up, but if you look at his facial structure, He's like them kind of people here, the Olmec Marcus Gavi sort of figure, because you could obviously Marcus Gavi looks very much like the Olmec. You see it, family? It's the Olmec Marcus Gavi. You know, oneness, oneness, one full culture. So, Brother Ronoko Rashidi, though, know, one of our greatest scholars, and to me, the, pre the premier scholar when it comes to the study of Mesoamerica and the African presence in uh, the Far East, etc. I don't think there's anyone at all that I would even, can even think about that I would put, the only person that comes close to him is the person that he studied under, which is Dr. Ivan Van Sertima. You know, um, they came before Columbus and other books. We have, what's the book we have here for Van Sertima? Uh, but anyway, don't worry. So, so we have a few Van Zertema books here. They're just the names. I think um, uh, um, Van Zertema also wrote The Gods of Ancient Buddhism. 
But whatever the case is, Brother Ronoko Roshidi now, he himself took this thing to another level, you know, and he's traveled to all of these places several times, Angkor Wat, Angkor Tom, you know, Egypt, the Kemet, uh, Kemet, the pyramids, whatever have you. But his specialty is in studying the black presence in Central America, South America, North America, India, China, Japan, and he's been to all these places lecturing and doing research. So he's definitely a mighty scholar that has stepped out of this zone as well. And what is interesting now is that he made a comment once I heard on a lecture and he said that he's not really with, you know, the concept of God being a human being there. Like, you know, he, not that he don't believe in God, you know, but he see God as the force and maybe God dwells in everything and such and such. But he said now that he, uh, he don't see God as a man. But if God was a man, he would have to be Marcus Gabby. <laughs> and, I, you know, I, I took that to heart. I was there, really. You know, I could see where he was coming from. So he's a Gabby soul, you know. And it's interesting, you know, he made his transition in, 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 in uh, the 3rd of August, this 2021, same God, Garvey month, the August month, you know, Mosiah, as some of us would call it, because August is Augustus, it? Julius and Augustus Caesar, so ones would call it Mosiah. And uh, he made his transition the same time that Bongo Wekai from the reports that I got, made his transition to Naya Big Elder from such time. So give thanks to them souls, they even at this moment and at this hour. And, you know, Brother Ronoko Roshidi, as I said, I've, I've seen pictures of him by this very same statue. I know that there was once, you know, he, he you know, he had a little, uh, a little objection to something that I said, which I really honestly, never felt any way about it. And I, I took it as a humbling moment from my elder, really. And it was a, it was a comment I made, you know, there was a, a lecture that was done in the very same Virgin Islands, a seminar, really. Brother Nayora was the one that conducted that um, seminar, ceremony or seminar. And he had different people from the islands and from all over the place that came and, and spoke. And I was one of the speakers. And I spoke of the Olmec people, et cetera. And there was another speaker there from Missouri. He is an Indian. His name was Chief Hawk. Never forget that. And after I spoke, he went and spoke. Anyone that was there could testify, well, if they were paying attention to all of this. But he said that, because I was speaking of the Olmec too, I mentioned the Olmec. And he said that he knows of the Olmec people. He says, Chief Hawking. Chief, I'm not a chief. Hawk, you hear that? It's an Indian to the board. Chief Hawk from Missouri. I honestly can't remember what Indian tribe it was, but I can remember those details. And he, I can even remember how he looks. I can be, I'm seeing it as I'm speaking. I see him on stage and I'm in the corner by the speaker. I can see everything. And that was like, that was, that was like, wow, you, you, I mean, you were about one at that time, but. Uh, when I made that mission there. But anyway, so he said that the Olmecs were referred to as the, the, the nine lords. And they came uh, to his people. According to the legend, they walked on water on the Atlantic Ocean from Africa to the Western world, walked on water and came to civilize his people. That's what Chief Hawk said. So I repeated it somewhere. I didn't do a whole lecture on it, you know. I don't even remember exactly how it got out, but I know I repeated it somewhere. Just repeated it and say, yeah. The nine lords walked on the water and obviously I would have cited where I got the information from. And the good brother, eh? that's brother Ranaka Rishidi, who referred to himself, I've heard him say it out of his mouth, you know, that he's the king of Facebook. So he went on Facebook and you know, he, he he wasn't too pleased with my comment, comments at all. You know, he, he, he was expressing that this is a field for serious scholarship. 
you know, not no makeup and no make believe. You know, as I said, hey, in all humility, you know, I was just happy to hear that Renoko Roshi was talking about me. I said, what? Renoko Roshi? Yeah. Wow. You know, I clearly remember that the Honorable Empress Ethiopia uh, replied to him. I didn't reply. No, and I just give thanks. You know, and, uh, you know I think she re replied in, well, she definitely replied in a humble manner and explained what I just explained to uh, that you know, that uh, it's not my, I, I'm not making it up. I got it from a, I would consider a very credible source. Obviously, you know, there may see, be a touch of legend to it, you know. There may be some esoteric understanding to it. I know some of us will say, no, esoteric, nothing, man. Man can walk and walk across the Atlantic. Okay, I mean, but still, that doesn't mean there may not be a, 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 a metaphor behind it still which from my perspective i believe so I, I honestly don't believe it's as raw as it sounds but because we are esoteric people we don't have to take time and break it down and so it's because we've been so colonialized now that we don't even understand that science so 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 i was just repeating what i heard and i gave the source to and i think that it was a good source that's why i would say that you think i would just say that out of my mouth from any old body that say, uh, the, the old Megwag and the water come over here. No. Nah. But the source, I, I, I got it from. You know, so no respect to the good brother, man. Still, you know, he was standing up for, for what he considered to be. You know, he was defending his, his territory then, you know. Me a little young blood just coming and, you know, I mean, making up things. No, nah, he has done the research. He has traveled, you know. He has the stripes to prove it. Yeah, man. Man should respect their elders, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, if a man wrong, he wrong, eh? But even when he wrong, you have to know how to correct him and you don't have to try beat him over the head for the world to see. Everything is blessed. Holy oh, man, you alive. So let's see, yeah. Ja, Rastafari. So of course, you know, of course, Lord Packer, which we have showed within the whole aspect of the mask of the Olmec and everything that has to do therewith. So let me just highlight this here to the family now. So as we go through, we are looking at main archeology span uh, tripod.com, just showing you an understanding as it relates to the main calendar. Of course, you know, the main calendar was that calendar that was said to uh, come to an end on the 21st day of the 21st day of December 2012. Yeah, uh, we're in 2021 now, eh? interesting, the two and the one. So anyway, it was supposed to come to an end on that day because that is what people were interpreting from it. But that was the end of the Olmec calendar. But the Olmec calendar now began, as you could see here, when the dual calendar system is run backwards, and it's talking about the, the main calendar as people refer to it as, but it's really the Olmec main calendar. That's why in the center of the calendar, there's an Olmec, which is Bess. You know, you even see his tongue sticking out. And that's Bess. You see all the statues and the tongue sticking out. Any statue, there's some Greek statues. We can do a whole lecture on that. You see them, uh, even the Michael Jordan, uh, I mean, Michael Jordan used to play ball, tongue sticking out, all of that have a science to it, eh? real thing. You understand? So best, you see him there on the right on the Olmec calendar with his tongue sticking out. So this calendar came to an end on the, th the, the 21st of December 12, 2012. That's when it came to an end. But again, when did it begin? Okay, it says here. When the dual calendar system is, when the dual calendar system is run backwards or through the long count, we see that the main year zero, or it may be called the current creation cycle began on August 13, 3113. You get it. Some argue that the year should be read 3114. Now, actually, the very first time I came across this information, it was 3113 BC, the 13th of August that I got for the beginning of the, the, the Olmec calendar. It is only after a while I, I came across this information, 3114. And in my studies, 
most of the, the uh, experts say that the real date is 3114. Okay, maybe I'm not an expert really on that level there, but somehow 3113 always um, resonated with my heart. You know? you know, even when I found the 3114 stuff, I was like a bit slightly disappointed. I said, huh, well, I had it wrong all the time. But then I, in my continual studies, you know, I came across, oh, okay, so it's this set of scientists saying it's 3113, and this set of scientists saying it's 3114. But as I said, I, you know, in all fairness, the vast majority of the the uh, the outlooks on this specific aspect, most of them come to 3114, you know, just to be fair, so you understand where you're going in your academical studies. So don't just say, oh, precise, that's it is now, well, but, but it does resound. The 3113 has an energy to me. 13th August, 3113. And this is the 13th back tone as well. You know, so everything linking with the, the 13 <laughs> and the 31, which is 1331. The science, that's where I see it as well. But give thanks. But the point I'm making here is that you can see the link, as we said, the 13th of August. This is the Olmec Mayan or Mayan Olmec calendar, because you know, the Olmec really are the ones that symbolize the Mayans. And at the same time, many of who we call the Mayans are actually Olmecs. That's another thing. <laughs> this thing is so deep. So that civilization is very, very important here. No, so, so the link with the Olmec, again, is very important as we link it with the, the uh, with Marcus Messiah Garvey, Lord Pakal. Hmm. Lord Pakal himself, the main Olmec, and of course the original Olmec pair, which is the original Marcus Messiah Garvey, the 13th of August. Now, what, what is important about the 13th of August as it relates to Marcus Messiah Garvey? Well, well, in general now, August, we're speaking of the 1st to the 31st of August. Let me just read something here for you. This is the Declaration of the Rights of the Negro Peoples of the World, the Principles of the Universal Negro Improvement Association. Everyone here knows Marcus Messiah Gavi? Yeah? No? Okay, wow. All right. Well, you should get a copy of the Night of the Black Tiger. I think that's the best thing you can do. Just email me, priestisaac27 at gmail.com. That's all. And all you have to say, can I get a copy of the Night of the Black Tiger? And we send you in your inbox, by the way, a copy of the Night of the Black Tiger. There's no strings attached, nothing you have to pay. You just get it. And trust me, you will be satisfied. It's nothing too lengthy or, you know, just one hour and 15 minutes, well interactive well, you know, excited and well edifying and, and clarity to the fullness as it relates to Marcus Messiah Garvey, one of the better works I think that we have put together here at the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge. So please email me, man, get a copy of the Night of the Black Tiger, you know what I mean, and sit in with your children, your young ones, believe me, it would inspire them. That simple video will inspire them for sure. We are speaking again of hmm, the night of the black tiger. So it says here in this uh, introduction, after World War I, after fighting World War I, uh, ostensibility, ostensibility, that's how you pronounce that, right? To defeat demo, de, 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 demo, de, democracy wow. and the right of self-determination, Thousands of African-American soldiers returned home to face intensified discrimination, segregation, and racial violence. Join on this frustration, Marcus Garvey attracted thousands of disillusioned Black working class and lower middle class followers to his Universal Improvement Association, UNIA. The UNIA committed to notions of racial purity, and separatism insisted that salvation for African Americans meant building an autonomous black led nation in Africa, the Black Star Line, an all black shipping company 
uh, chartered by the Universal Negro Improvement Association, was the movement's boldest and most important project. And many African-Americans uh, bought shares of stocks in the company. In 1920, Black Star, Liner, Black Star Line business meeting in Harlem's Liberty brought together 25,000 UNIA delegates from around the world and produced an important statement of principles, the Declaration of Rights of the Negro People of the World. The Declaration of, the, of Rights of the Negro Peoples of the World. Preamble. Be it resolved that the Negro people of the world through this chosen representatives, through their chosen representatives in convention, in convention assembled in Liberty Hall in the city of New York and United States of America from August 1st to 31st in the year of our Lord, 1920 protest against the wrongs and injustice they are suffering at the hands of their white brethren and state that they deem their fear and just rights as well as the treatment they propose to demand of all men in the future. All right. So it has some complaints here. Um, you, you already got the site where you check it. I'm not going to go into the fullness, but it talks about the discrimination of the black man, his freedom, his redemption, and his international repatriation, basically in a nutshell, as you can see, there's many things here. Uh, you have, as it has here, the, 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 the problems as such. It has the solutions as well. It's divided like that. So it tells you what's the problem that is coming down against the black man and how the black man can come out of the problem as such. And this is the full document that you can go through yourself, Declaration of Rights of the Negro People of the World. Now, if you know the history, it was on the 13th day. This is interesting. The 13th day of August that the 39th uh, aspect of this declaration came to light or to life as such. So section 39 says, the colors red, black and green be the colors of the Negro race. So officially, if you check the records of that gathering, the, the 13th day, because as you could see, it's from the 1st of August, which is, you know, that is our Emancipation Day. Messiah Gavi on it, you know. Remember, he's the Idi Amin. You never watched the video, video Idi Amin say he had a vision in him and he woke up. I think he said he was the 1st of August. The 1st of August, he was told to go and do whatever he had to do to take over the country and free up Uganda. First of August, Idi Amin, the same Marcus Garvey, check the night of the Black Tiger. So it's one spirit, so the August spirit. That's why I mentioned even Brother Ronoko Rashidi for the work he do and the science of just his own DNA and even his statement that no, nobody is no God. Only if, if there was a God, it got to be Marcus Garvey. So it's the science, you see, the whole energy. That's how you pick up things. So this is the 13th day of August. That Marcus Messiah Garvey, who is the Almec, Marcus Messiah Garvey, who is the Almec, rose the red, black, and green. Why are you stressing that he is the Almec? Remember the Almec calendar was started on the 13th day of August. Because remember this Marcus Gabby Olmec thing, you know, again, is long time we talking about that science. Eh? They say from YouTube, before YouTube we've invented. Ask anyone that um, um, not nigga school man, tell them how you gonna man. When we used to be printing papers, the who is God series, 
cement career series, the heavens declare the glory series. And this, this was on, this is before the days of the internet. So a lot of the science we bust in there is long time them science busted. Long time. So yeah, this is important. Messiah Garvey, we proved this in many, many ways, not just the looks, and that alone proved it to me, but just the whole story, the rubber people. Marcus Garvey and his rubber line. We, you know, we went through that. The Firestone Company and the 17th of August when all the tires they're ripping up and they had to recall the tires from the Jeep and the Forerunners. The Forerunner. Forerunner, because the Firestone Company was robbing the rubber land for the Forerunner. Huh? Marcus Messiah Garvey in Liberia. And anywhere you see the Olmec, you see the rubber tree. That's why Marcus had the rubber lamb and, 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 and the rubber land and the Olmec are the rubber people. That's why they call Olmec. Oli is rubber. Oli, Olmec. You know, the real name is really the shy people, you know, XI. I must say the shy. Some people say she. Or they're the shy people. So that is just one aspect again to show you how Marcus Messiah Garvey is linked with them. You know, where you found all them Olmec statues, that's where Marcus Garvey went as a timekeeper to work on the banana plantations. In, yeah, the Olmec country. So, so it's a whole mystic thereof, as we have shown and proven, the link with Anubis and Poop, even the link with Ramesses II, which we did in that, that last contribution lecture that we did. Those who didn't contribute, you still can contribute. Eh? Um, the Cash App and the PayPal, the link is in the description below. Please feel free if you consider that, you know, those lectures were of some sort of value. So, so again, so this is why we have to make the link. Because the Olmec start their government on the 30th of August. Mr. Agavi is the Olmec come again. And his government, you know, that, 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 that declaration was established the 30th of August in the whole aspect of the August meeting conference. So on the 13th day of August, that is the official day for the rising of the red, the black, and the green, the same day of the Olmec calendar, of which Marcus Garvey is an obvious Olmec. So as we said, the good brother himself, eh? Brother Vaughan Benjamin as well, fit into the little puzzle there, as he himself was born on the, the 13th day of August. And if my maths is correct, I no, understand, I think I'm correct, man. The, the 13th day of August is actually 200 and the 200 and 25th day of the year. Of course, you know, the 225th is, is very symbolic of even the 225th Solomonic Emperor. And even for Marcus Garvey Earth Day to the Emperor Coronation Day is 77 days within the span of them two celebrations eh? from Garvey to the coronation, the double seven as well. So even in them little mystics, those who like to add numbers and, and number eight and number five and this mean this and this mean that, them is some mystics as well to look into. So we take nothing for granted and Again, we definitely even give thanks for the life given the keeper of life. Give thanks for such strength and power even in this time. And of course, glorify the earth day of Marcus Messiah Garvey as he dwell with us in high power. Yes. A heart is Sabbath. And again, blessed celebration. Holy man in the light, Celestia, Jah, Rastafari. 
Dumnezeu.